and welcome to another Orange Coast College Mathematics video. In this video, we're going to learn to divide rational expressions. Now, I'll assume that you're comfortable uh, simplifying rational expressions, multiplying rational expressions, and factoring. Dividing rational expressions is almost as simple as multiplying rational expressions. To divide a over b by c over d, I simply multiply a over b by the reciprocal of c over d. The reciprocal of c over d is d over c, right? You simply reverse the fraction. Now, it's important that you have the ordering correct, though, because when it's a over b divided by c over d, I take the reciprocal of c over d, the fraction to the right of the division symbol. Okay. And then once I've done that, I simply multiply as usual. We begin with an example. We first start by rewriting this division as a multiplication. So we write this as the first fraction is the same, 10a cubed over 3b. And then we multiply by the reciprocal of the second fraction. So we're going to multiply this by 18b cubed over 5a to the sixth. And from here, it's simply a multiplication problem. So we simply multiply across the numerator, we get 10 times 18 times a cubed times b cubed. And then we multiply across the denominator, we get 3 times 5 times a to the sixth times b. Notice I don't multiply out the numbers because we want to make simplifying those fractions simpler. So First, we can cancel out from the 10, we have a 10 in the numerator and a 5 in the denominator, so that will cancel out that factor of 5, leaving us with a 2 in the numerator and a 1 down here. And we can do the same thing with the 18 and the 3. So this 18 goes into, uh, is divided by 3 evenly, leaving us with a 6 in the numerator and a 1 in the denominator. And now we can move on to the variables. So we have a cubed in the numerator, a to the 6th, in the denominator. So we have three additional powers of a in the denominator. So we cancel out the a cubed, and that leaves us with a cubed in the denominator. Last, we have the b. We have b cubed in the numerator, b in the denominator. So we have two additional powers of b in the numerator. So we end up with b squared in the numerator, and that cancels out the b in the denominator. So what we have left over then is 2 times 6, which is 12, b squared. And then in the denominator, we have a cubed. Example two. Now this one will require some factoring. We can rewrite this as a multiplication problem and do our factoring at the same time. So the first fraction remains the same. So we factor out the four from each term in the numerator. So that leaves us with four times r minus s. And then in the denominator, we can factor out a common factor of three. So we have three times r plus s. Now we rewrite the second fraction, the fraction to the right of the division symbol. We re write its reciprocal and we multiply. So the, what was the denominator here becomes the numerator here. We can factor out the 5 to get 5 times r plus s. And then the denominator, we can have this difference of squares here, s squared minus r squared. So that factors into s minus r times s plus r. Now, you can either multiply across the numerator and across the denominator and then cancel. You can cancel some stuff earlier. So let's cancel earlier. We notice here we have r plus s in the numerator here, and we have s plus r in the denominator, but s plus r and r plus s are the same, so those cancel out. Now, the other thing to notice is here we have r minus s, and here we have s minus r. These number, r minus s and s minus r, these are not equal, but they are opposites of one another. What I mean by that is that r minus s would simply be negative 1 times s minus r. So I can cancel those, and it's not going to cancel out into 1. It's going to cancel out into negative 1. So you can just put a negative 1 here. And now we can multiply across. Okay, So we have negative 4 times 5, and then in the denominator we will have 3 times r plus s. If we simplify this, we get negative 20 over 3 times r plus s. 
you can put this negative sign either in front of the 20 or you can kind of put it out in front of the fraction. It doesn't matter. Here's our final example. Now we have a division problem that looks a little bit different from the previous ones. We have it's x squared plus x over x plus 5, this first rational expression, divided by 2x over x squared minus 25, this second rational expression. So if we wanted to rewrite this, you don't need to do this, but if you wanted to rewrite it in the sort of form of the previous examples, it would look like this. So x squared plus x over x plus 5 divided by 2x over x squared minus 25. Now we'll still need to rewrite this as a multiplication. So again, it's going to be the first fraction times the reciprocal of the second fraction. Now what we want to do here is I'm going to factor as we go along. So x squared plus x, I can factor out an x from both terms. So it's going to be x times x plus 1. And in, in the denominator, it will be x plus 5. And then we multiply by the reciprocal of this rational expression. Now x squared minus 25, that's a difference of squares, and we can factor it as x minus 5 times x plus 5, and then divided by 2x. Now you can either multiply this all out and then cancel, or you can cancel anything in either numerator with anything from either denominator. So what we can do is we notice that we have an x plus 5 factor in the numerator and an x plus 5 factor in the denominator. So we can cancel those out. And we also have a factor of x in the numerator here and a factor of x in the denominator there. We cancel those out. Now multiply across. And that leaves us with x plus 1 times x minus 5 and divided by, we have a factor of 2. And that's it. And that's division of rational expressions. It's mostly just multiplication of rational expressions with a twist, but practice it and you'll have it mastered in no time. Until next time, have fun.